to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size being six three six four to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science, to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. The athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've, I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. In four years, this, this could be you. you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. 
Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air where your emergency is our emergency. choose Kelly Chevrolet. We offer a wide selection of new and used inventory with a team that guides you to your perfect fit. Our certified pre-owned options ensure peace of mind with warranties and rigorous inspections. Competitive pricing, flexible financing, and convenient trade and services making your dream Chevrolet a reality. Trust our experienced service team to keep your vehicle in top shape and enjoy free car washes as long as you own your vehicle. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Blackhawk Christian High School. We're on Mark Davidson Court tonight. We will have a matchup between the 1 and 4 Cavaliers and the 3 and 1 Braves. Carson Watkins joining you here tonight with Josh Butts on camera for you guys. And this Cavs season not the start of the season they were looking for. They're 1 and 4 thus far on the season. They got a big win against Eastside. They're six and three, fifth, fifth game of the season. After the turn of the year, they're gonna have 15 games past January 1st. Seven straight Tuesday night games. I'll be looking to rack up some wins there, but starting now, it's gonna be a tough one against these Blackhawk Christian Braves, the defending 2A state champions. Three and one on the season, they lost a tough overtime game to the New Haven Bulldogs uh, their last two games. They have outscored their opponents 149 to 78. They are led by Muldoon, 11.5 points per game, and Pickett with 17.8 points per game. Pickett averaging a double-double with 11 and a half. He had 17 his last time out. For the Cavs, Lewis leading them 20 points a game with three boards and half an assist, shooting 55% from the field, he has 104 points on the season. Versus Columbia City, he got 22 with three steals and just recently passed 1,000 points for his career. All very exciting here for Friday Night Basketball, but will it be possible without the help of our sponsor? Tonight's broadcast on SummitCitySports.com is presented by Big Eye Fish. Big Eye Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook page for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at Big Eyed Fish. New state-of-the-art car wash facilities and free car washes when you purchase from Drive Kelly. Shop all 14 of their brands at drivekelly.com. Tom Steel Tire will help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other automotive and other repair services like brakes, wheel alignment, engine diagnostics, and more. On will are contracting with us and our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process from bid to build. Visit onwellercontracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area from ages 5 to 18. Our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board together, we can reach the summit. Anderson Eating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? It's exposing your criminal record or getting your driver's license reinstated. Jolly Law Firm is your answer. Silco Cleaning and Restoration, providing commercial cleaning services, including janitorial water damage city, our disinfecting services throughout Northeast Indiana. Online degree programs at the University of St. Francis are built for convenience and flexibility. Most degrees can be completed in 12 months. Visit online.sf.edu. Specialists in design, build, mechanical, and refrigeration. Visit tjwindustrial.com. Earn your edge this season. Parkview Sports Medicine an edge training program. Maximize your athleticism. The personalized performance training 
to reach your goals and get you to the next level. Visit parkingsportsmedicine.com slash edge to schedule your free consultation. And thank you for watching tonight's broadcast on summitcitysports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel of the same name. You can keep up with all of our updates there and our updating broadcast in power rankings. Once again, thank you for joining us. We got the 3 and 1 Braves versus the 1 and 4 Cavaliers. We'll see you on the other side of this break for starting lineups. This is Indiana Girls High School Bath. High School Basketball, presented by SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season, or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so uh, I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need Welcome back here, and that guy's certainly in the festive spirit. Band coming out here to play for us tonight. And also opportunities here in the Summit City to improve your basketball knowledge. The Always 100 Holiday Hoops Camp is back for the 11th straight year, December 26th to the 29th. Kindergarten through 8th grade athletes. Morning session will be from 9 to 11. The afternoon session will be from 4 to 6. You can register at always100.com. Holiday season in full swing. And basketball season heating up. We'll see you on the other side of this break for starting lineups on SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball. So I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So. Uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. 
Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strength. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science to the arts all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. The athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've, I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. In four years, this, this could be you. you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for our maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air where your emergency is our emergency. choose Kelly Chevrolet. We offer a wide selection of new and used inventory with a team that guides you to your perfect fit. Our certified pre-owned options ensure peace of mind with warranties and rigorous inspections. Competitive pricing, 
flexible financing, and convenient trade and services, making your dream Chevrolet a reality. Trust our experienced service team to keep your vehicle in top shape and enjoy free car washes as long as you own your vehicle. Welcome back. I'll take you down to public address for the national anthem, a prayer, and starting lineups. Exciting game here for you tonight. We'll be right back here. This is Boys High School Basketball presented by SummerCitySports.com.
Not many environments like this you can be, ladies and gentlemen. We're excited to bring it to you. A special environment here, a small intimate space on the campus of Black Hawk Christian and on Mark Davidson Court. We're about ready for tip off. We got Dressler. Looks like we got Hayes versus Pickett there in the middle. Ball is in the air and we are off. Blackhawk Christian wins the tip and an exciting Friday night game here for us. Muldoon takes it down low here. Pickett, 17 points last game, averaging 17 and a half on the season. Blackhawk Christian on a two game winning streak. The Cavs on a losing streak. Lewis takes it away and how about a little layup to get the scoring started for the Cavaliers. Lewis gets the first bucket of the night. He has 104 points on the season. Had 22 against Columbia City. Recently got his thousands career point. On the way, that one's no good but Sefton will be fouled. He'll go to the line. Only his fifth attempt here on the season. He'll go to the line for a whole three. He's three and four on the season. Bryce Sefton. Three for four on the season. He misses his first one. Makes a second. The Cavs have not beaten this Blackhawk team in over a decade. Lewis has it. Two for three from the line there for Sefton. Knots this game back up. Grider gives it up to Dressler. Wardlow. Over here in the corner, Hayes kicks it out, and Lewis has it. Lewis drives baseline, loses it. That one goes flying right on the baseline. It's going to be a long three, misses everything. Dressler shot that one. He's shooting one for five from beyond the arc so far this season. He's one for six now. This one gets kicked over. Smith has it. Thought about it. Decides how to take it. Muldoon. Muldoon over here. Sefton. Kicks it out. Just saved. Good ball movement here. Down low. Pick it. Long three again. That one's good. Bryce Sefton gets that one to fall. He's 8 for 18 on the season from beyond the arc. Leiter drives the lane. He gets blocked, but a foul called there on Smith. And that'll send Ryder to the line. He's shooting 13 for 16 from the line this season. At the line for the Cavaliers, shooting two, number one, Alden Ryder. He'll miss his first one off the front of the iron. 5-2, your score. Seth in hitting a three to get this crowd involved. And he makes a second. Was it once more a two point game? This one gets down low, pick it, beautiful dish. Sefton gets that one to fall. Sefton one handed from the little floater. From the, in the paint. Lewis has it. He scored the first bucket of the night. Leading scorer on this team. Turns around on Sefton. Pull up. Jumper on the way. That one no good. Lewis taking a visit to Bluffton University. Here recently. Sefton in the corner again. He misses everything that time. 
Long pass here. Dressler has it. Dressler shoots a three. Air ball his last one. That one hits off the back of the iron. Kicked up here. Smith. Smith pulls up and transition. And can't get that one. A full pull, pull, board pulled down by Dressler. This is a... Team struggling with rebounds a little bit. Their highest rebounder is Dressler. He has... The second highest, I should say. Hayes has the most for 6.4. Dressler has... 4.5, that's a floater there, it's gonna be blocked. Rebound there by Pickett. Pickett's name not in the score sheet yet. Muldoon picks up his dribble, he's gonna find... Lewis drives in, that one gets up, he's gonna get an easy two there. He challenges Pickett. Pickett deciding to save some foul calls. This one poked away, and it's going to be a turnover there for the Braves. Wardlow has it. Kicks this one in the corner here. Hayes on the way. That one's good. Canterbury takes the lead. 3.55 remaining here. Pickett gets in the corner. This one out here. Smith on the way to answer. He can't get that one to fall. Rebound pulled down by Dressler. Hayes again drives it on Pickett, who gets it poked away, and it will be Cavs ball. A little bit of confusion there. Head coach Matt Roth. He didn't seem too upset with that one. Lewis has it. This one, Grider drives the lane and gets that one in. That's the largest Cavs lead of the night. A little side pass is poked away. And now here comes Lewis. Lewis Euro steps, gets it in. That one falls. Canterbury. Locking in right now against these Braves. Wow, that's a three day answer, no good. Rebound pulled down there by Dressler, who's fouled. And man, this Canterbury bench explodes. Came to play tonight. Coach Derek Adams has these boys ready to go. Foul was on Sefton, his first team the game for the second. He is a six foot six inch senior, number 12, Jackson Hauser. Jackson Hauser checks into this game, averaging seven points on the season. Always need that. Six man, your little spork off the bench. Right now they're going to need it. Down five. Lewis has it. Lewis, beautiful dish down there. Grider on, gets it up. That one rolls around and falls. Seven point lead for the Cavs. That's really good by number one on the Grider. He'll be at the line shooting one after fouling on Blackhawk. Number two, Aiden Ball, two. And that's his first two and third. He gets that one to fall. Big lead now. Eight point lead for Canterbury. Canterbury's fan base traveling well. This one gets that turned over again. Lewis, another, forces another turnover. He goes all the way down the court and gets that one up. Thought he was fouled, he was not. Rebound pulled down there by Pickett. Sefton hit a big three, and he travels. Joining the contest for the Braves, number 30. He's a six foot three inch junior, Luke Mansfield. Joining the contest for the Cavaliers, number 20, Dylan Wardlow. Lewis, looking around, he finds Grider. Grider kicks it back out to Lewis. 
Lewis not pulling up from deep very often tonight, but Wardlow will. That one won't fall. And just tough to get boards down there with Pickett. That's a, he's averaging a double-double. Pickett on the way, no good. Big man could shoot the three. Couldn't make it there. 135 to go. And they're gonna slow down here for Greider. This one poked away. Dressler up and in. That one goes. He gets around. He gets around Hauser there and gives these Cavs a 10 point advantage. What a nice little run here. This one gets kicked over. Hauser on the way. Can't get that one to fall. Lewis grabs a board. Driving baseline, kicks it out over Greider. Greider drives in, gets it up. That one won't fall. Pickett loses the rebound, and it was last touch there by Pickett. Fifty-four seconds to go. Lewis to inbound. No one calling a timeout right now. Play going on. This one gets out. Dressler, Lewis, turn around. Jay, that one falls. Made that a 12 point lead with 45 seconds to go here in the first period. Not a lot of people expecting this one. Pull up, jumper here. That one nowhere close. Pick it. Shrugs a little bit, thought he was fouled. This one gets up, Dressler almost lost it, hit off of the foot of Lewis. Substitution now. Reed Hayes comes into this game. He was in the starting lineup. With 15 seconds to go, the Braves are going to hold for the last shot. Needing a spark. Pick Muldoon. Corner three on the way. Foul! Oh! And he makes the bucket! Mansfield goes to the line now. He's one for two on the season from beyond the arc. That'll get you a nice little spark there. With five seconds to go here. Mansfield. Can't get that one to fall. Rebound there, Lewis. Lewis pulls up from deep and can't make it. That'll send us to the break with a nine point advantage for the Cavs. We'll be back here. This is High School Basketball presented by SummerCitySports.com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Why choose Kelly Chevrolet? We offer a wide selection of new and used inventory with a team that guides you to your perfect fit. Our certified pre-owned options ensure peace of mind with warranties and rigorous inspections. Competitive pricing, flexible financing, and convenient trade and services, making your dream Chevrolet a reality. Trust our experienced service team to keep your vehicle in top shape and enjoy free car washes as long as you own your vehicle. Welcome back. A nine point event for the Cavs after a huge run, but Blackhawk hoping for a little bit of a spark here. This corner three from Mansfield, he is fouled. Someone landed in his area. Got a big shot there. Ended the Cavs run. And this Canterbury team, certainly a lot to prove tonight. You see that with the way they've came in playing, but 
one and four on the season, but sometimes your draw is really what's gonna help you out a lot as Lewis makes this once more 11 point game. Canterbury in class 1A, sectional 53. No team in that sectional is above 500 at this early point in the season. So, you know, if they come out playing like this, come March, Lewis, this one's a three-point on the way, Lewis told outside the huddle that, or my apologies, Pitt Viper Media, that he wanted to take this team deep into March. We'll see if he's able to do so. Deflected off of the calf there. Pickett went up trying to grab that one like a wide receiver. Almost poked away, but it is poked away there. Here comes Lewis. He's just going to go for the easy two. Thirteen-point lead now for the Cavs. Sefton over here to Hauser. Hauser down low to Pickett. Pickett gets that one to fall. He's been quiet so far. That was his first points of the night for the leading scorer for the Braves. Still a double-digit game. Lewis gets the pick. This one gets in and rolls around. No good. Lewis goes against four white jerseys there attempting to grab that board. It was in the air for quite a while. He just couldn't come down with it. Pick it. Finds Muldoon who gets fouled on the floor. Foul called on Dressler. Team's first of the quarter. His first. Isaac Smith comes back in this game. He's in the starting lineup. Missed shot there. Rebound Hayes. Leading rebounder on this Cavs squad. And Lewis slowly taking the ball up. Two minutes elapsed here in the first. Over here, Wardlow. Hayes has it. Baseline. Gets it up. That one's good. Dressler splits the lane and gets that one to fall. gets kicked out and Mansfield lost it. Pickett has it outside. Pickett pushes back. Mansfield down low. Pickett. Another turnover there for the Braves. Lewis tries to get it in transition but it's poked away there by Hauser. And we got a tie up. It'll be a foul on Wardlow. You got to say my bad. I tried, tried to hit Lewis there in transition and couldn't do it. Now Dylan Wardlow comes in. Deacon and Dylan sharing the floor tonight. That one no good. Right around pick it. Can't grab the board. As Wardlow has it, he kicks it out here. Who oh, thought about it? Hayes with the pump fake crosses over, drives baseline, and sends Hauser flying, and he'll pick up a charge. Team third. Jackson Athletic Performance Replay. This one gets up off the glass. That's going to go. Maldu gets that one to fall. It's what's more an 11 point game. Lewis turned around. No shot. He was fouled. Lewis, a tough player. 
as Ashton Dressler is going to check back in. Well, seniors on this club came in with Coach Adams looking to upset the big, big bad Braves. Lewis drives in off the glass, trying to get that one over Hauser. No easy task, and a hold called there on Pickett. That's their fourth foul on this quarter. It's Devin Lewis's first. Now at 4.16 to go, they're gonna have to play a little bit. Catch and shoot three on the way, that one no good. Pickett goes up for the rebound. Coach Adams looking for a foul, not coming. Second chance, that board pulled down and a foul called there on Aiden Muldoon. He's a little flustered. His second, team second. Bryce Sefton comes back in. And we got a full time out from the Cavaliers. We'll step aside, take it with them. We'll be right back here on SummerCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Dealing with joint pains, spray. Welcome back. A 11-point lead here for the Cavs. They've gone a little bit cold from the floor. They're going to take a timeout to try to remedy that. Pull up, jump on the way. That one goes. How about that one coming out of the timeout? A deep three there. From Dressler, he's shooting five for 11 from beyond the arc. Coming in tonight, he's already made two. And Canterbury's lead is going, and Lewis pokes that one away. He's gonna go for another layup. Just taking those easy twos when he can get him. He has six points off of fast breaks. A 16 point lead for the Braves. Not a lot of people saw, for the Cavs, not a lot of people saw this one coming. Pickett, only two points on the night. He's averaging 17 on the season. Pickett down low, kicks it out. Sefton on the way. That one goes. Cuts it back here, 13 points. How about an answer here from the Cavs? That one's nowhere close. It's Hayes loses it, and a foul called there. Three-pointer on the way, no good again. Rebound pulled down. It's like a chance here for Smith. He gets it to Pickett. Pickett goes up and gets that one to fall. And the foul. That foul was on Dressler, his second. And that does send the Braves into the bonus. Coach Adams talking with the official. 
Coach Adams talking to the official. Certainly upset with that last call. And that one gets up. It's going to almost be rebounded there, but the shot is missed. Still an 11 point lead here for the Cavs. Lewis gets a pick, drives in. Off his pivot foot, sends this one over to Dressler. Dressler through the trees. He gets that one to go. This one down low, almost. And a foul called. Uh, Wardlow looks a little unhappy, but I think he did kick quite a bit of. That's his first at the line for Brave shooting two is number 30. Luke Mansfield. Luke Mansfield now goes to the line. Only his third free throw attempt of the year. He's one for three. Ben Gray, the senior coming in here. Gray getting some late minutes for the Braves this season. 12 point game now, only has averaging one point a game. He's one for three from beyond the arc. I'm just bring this average down, but I guess uh, Coach Roth has a lot of ground to make up. He got 12 points, there's a minute and 40 to go here in the first half. Grier kicks it out, Hayes on the way, and Pickett gets quite a bit of them there, but Lewis goes in, and Lewis with a big flex as he goes up for that tough layup. 14 point lead now for the Cavaliers. Pickett been held quiet. This one gets kicked out to the corner. That one goes, a three pointer there from Smith. Driving here on the block, kicked out and just saved there by Wardlow. This one drives in, foul call, counted in one! A blocking foul call there on Mansfield. We'll get Grider to the line. He's 13 for 16 from the line this season. Just recalled that the entire way. He was ready for it. Now oh, this one falls. One and four on the season. These Cavaliers up big is this one on the baseline and it was poked away. Smith got the pass there from Pickett. But it was knocked away at the last second there. Greider. Corner three on the way, that one no good. Rebound pulled down there, Smith. This one gets up, that one falls, Gray. Like I said, you get that little spark there, so now it's a 12 point game once more. This one poked away and just saved, and with 17 seconds to go, the Cavs content to take the last shot. Gray playing tough defense, Gray pokes it away. Oh, down the court, the lob was gonna go for the lob to pick it and turn around here, that one good, it's gonna go. And the coaching staff is incensed, thought there was a travel called. And man, what a sequence, we got a 10 point game. What a wild sequence there, but at the half, we got a 10 point game. And we'll step aside here. You're not going to miss the second half of this one. We'll be right back here. This is Indiana Boys High School Basketball presented by SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City. Home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, Nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com.
I just want to be the best in basketball. So I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me. So I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science, to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. The athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses the long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. In four years, this, this could be you. you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for our maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air where your emergency is our emergency.
Why choose Kelly Chevrolet? We offer a wide selection of new and used inventory with a team that guides you to your perfect fit. Our certified pre-owned options ensure peace of mind with warranties and rigorous inspections. Competitive pricing, flexible financing, and convenient trade and services, making your dream Chevrolet a reality. Trust our experienced service team to keep your vehicle in top shape and enjoy free car washes as long as you own your vehicle. Welcome back to Blackhawk Christian where the home crowd, energetic, but probably a little bit surprised. Blackhawk has faced these Cavaliers quite a bit and they have beat them several times the last 35 years. Blackhawk is 36 and 9. So right now the Cavs on upset alert. But this is a good second half team. We'll have to see what happened, but Clinics bring you the exciting game without the help of our sponsors. Science broadcast on SummerStateSports.com is brought to you by Big Eyed Fish. Big Eyed Fish have been in the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook page for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at Big Eyed Fish. Kelly Automotive, you say they are... Car wash facilities, free car washes when you buy from Kelly Automotive. Shop drivekelly.com. Tom Steel Tire has been servicing the forward area for over 40 years. They'll help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other automotive repair services like brakes, wheel image, engine diagnostics, and more. At Ottenwell, our contractor, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process from bid to build. Visit ottenwellercontracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area from ages 5 to 18. Our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board together. We can reach the summit. Anderson Eating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business. This is a solution that fits your unique needs. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? It's just holding your criminal record and getting your driver's license reinstated. Jolly Law Firm is your answer. Circle Cleaning and Restoration providing top-notch commercial cleaning services, including janitorial, disinfectant, state-of-the-art, water damage protection. Visit circles.com. The online degree program is the University of St. Francis are built for convenience and flexibility. Most degrees can be completed in 12 months. Visit online.sf.edu. Specialist in design, build, mechanical, and refrigeration. Visit tjwindustrial.com. Earn your edge this season. Parkview Sports Medicine Edge Training Program. Maximizes your athleticism through personalized performance training to reach your goals and lead to the next level. To schedule your free consultation, visit parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash edge. Tonight's broadcast is being brought to you live by SummitCitySports.com. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and give us a follow on Twitter at 260Sports. Upcoming holidays, upcoming holiday season reminds us that the Always 100 Holiday Hoops is coming up. For its 11th straight year, December 26th to the 29th, kindergarten through 8th grade athletes. Morning session will be from 9 to 11, the afternoon session from 4 to 6. Register at always100basketball.com. A big stop there from Gray. Take a look here as we can here at this last sequence. Gray kick coming into this game, not getting a lot of minutes, gets a huge poke away there, and then missing that rebound almost cost him. Coaches were looking for a travel there, it didn't come, and a huge bucket. This one deep, three, that one no good. Pickett grabs the rebound, turns around, and gets that one to fall. This one's back to a 10-point game and a little bit of a miscommunication there. Mm. 
they inbound. Looks like they. So Pickett gets the bucket there, and then oh, he threw it back. He was inbounding the ball there to Dressler, who wasn't ready for it. You got to have a little bit more game awareness than that. And Coach Adams is right now is arguing that he never was technically. He never really, I don't know what he's arguing. I think he was ready to inbound it. You just got to have a little bit more game awareness than that. That's a huge swing. For the Braves, and a four-point swing there. This is back to a six-point game as Aiden Muldew gets that one to fall. Almost lost there. Leiter throws that one up, and he can't get it to fall, but he will get the foul. That was on Mansfield. That'll be his third. Missing Greider to the line, shooting two. Having a good night from the line. It continues there. He's having a good season from the line as well, shooting over 80%. That breaks up the 6-0 run, going, or the 8-0 run going into last half. Pick it from the corner. That one falls. Four, Knew how to be a really interesting locker room. Lewis. Lewis is on the guys around. That one's good saying. No good. Rebound. Grider. Crowd was looking for a travel, but the basket doesn't go. And this one's almost lost. Lewis causes another turnover. He gets it over to Greider, looking to make up for it here. He will not. He blows the layup. Catch and shoot here for Sefton. Can't get the roll. Rebound there, pick it. But he tries to save before it goes out of bounds. It'll be taken away. Hayes has it. Hayes kicks it out here, driving baseline. And... Coach Adams telling Ryder to calm down. <laughs> Lewis sizing up Pickett. He's gonna send this one over. Dressler high off the glass and can't get it to fall. Wardlow gets it back off to the tip. Lewis on the curl, drives in. He hasn't shot a lot of threes tonight. Gets that one in. Can't get the bucket to fall. He was fouled, however. Go to the line. 17 for 22 from the charity strike this season. Sefton second, team second. Gets his first one to fall. Gets them both to fall. Pickett has it. He made his last three-pointer. Big man can shoot it. This one kicked over. Pickett decides not to take it as he got Greider to bite. And it's poked away. And another turnover from the Braves. Pickett, miscommunication. He tells Hauser about it. And here comes Lewis. They have an opportunity here to make this a double-digit lead once more. 5.25 to go. Cavs in no rush. As Pickett almost takes that one away. Drive in here. Get it to the fall. Once again, back to a nine-point game as that one falls. Wardlow picks up his dribble as Pickett gets it. They put Lewis on him. High height disparity. Not going to matter. Is that one off the backboard? but it won't fall, rebound here. Sefton in the corner, it won't go. Rebounded eventually there by Hayes. Looks like Hayes and Greider both thought they had it, but Hayes is the one who, fall, who grabs it. 
A lot of turnover for the Braves tonight. A little bit of sloppy play we're not used to seeing from them as a defense chance rains down to the players on Mark Davidson court. Defending 2A state champions in a bind as Wardlow couldn't get that one. A little bit too much mustard on it. Pick it, pull up jumper, that one falls. Driving here, that one, Lewis responds again. This one will off the front of the iron and it will be out of bounds. It will be Cavs ball and Lewis is gonna push the pace. Three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Lewis gets the pick there from Hayes. Lewis drives it on Pickett. He loses his ball on the ground. Lewis comes back up with it. And a foul called on the floor. Team's third. Muldoon second. Hayes has this one. Hayes drives it. Underhand layup gets rejected by Pickett. This one gets up and a hard push there. Wardlow thought he was a little upset with the foul. Muldoon goes to the line now. Only his fifth attempt here of the season. And he misses the first one. Makes the second. That's five points now for Muldoon. Lewis. Lewis has it deep three on the way. That one's good. Dressler with a huge three. He gets this one back to a double digit lead. This one drives in. It's going to be taken away. And Muldoon, another foul. I believe that might be his fifth. It's only, it's only his third. Miscalculated my apologies for that, but that is his third. Now Dillard Wardlow comes in and Hayes takes a seat. This is a Canterbury bench that's fired up as that three falls. Isaac Smith gets that one to fall. It's back to an eight point game. Six points now on the night for Smith. Lewis with the pump fake, gets it to go! Lewis having a spectacular night. Muldoon faked it, this one gets over the corner. That one goes again! Back to back three pointers there for Smith and a timeout. Timeout taken for Blackhawk. Full timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back here on SummerCitySports.com. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Welcome back here on SummitCitySports.com. A huge three, back-to-back -back threes for Smith. Blackhawk takes a timeout just to kind of adjust. Two minutes here to go in the third quarter. And a travel called. Travel called there on This Blackhawk crowd energized. They've been around their boys. Smith again. That one won't go. And rebound pulled down there by Lewis. Lewis just saved it. Lewis, pull up jumper. That one won't go, but he's fouled. Coach Roth doesn't like that one at all. Lewis said he was pushed. Foul on Sefton. That's his third. First one goes. Hayes and Ashton Dressler taking a seat. Doing a little bit of a flip-flop here, kind of working with that starting lineup. Got to keep everybody in foul trouble as Lewis makes them both. He brings us back to a nine-point lead. Pickett has it. Just can't foul him. You know, they like to give big guys a call sometime. And that one's turned over again. Hayes was waiting for that one, and Luke. Lewis is going to take it slowly up the court before a timeout from the Cavaliers. 30 second timeout, we'll keep it right here. Take a look here. This is kind of one of the bigger plays of the game right now. It led to about an 8 0 run. This one was taken away by Gray, and then Pickett lost the lob. And there's an awkward floater there from Mansfield Fell. And then this, this was kind of, you had to be worried if you were a Cavs fan after this one. Pick it with a turnaround layup there and Warfield. Thought he was inbounding it there to Dressler. But he caused a turnover. And that led to a big shot from Smith to hit one of his threes here in this quarter. Smith has nine. Lewis gives it up here. Hayes drives in and pick it. Swats that one away. This one gets back. Can they capitalize? No. And pick it grabs the board and he gets that one to fall. Pick it now with 13, under a minute to go here in the third. Wardlow gets it up, that one falls. Wardlow with a big bucket there. Pull up, jumping from Pickett, won't go. And it's going to be a foul call for a hold there. On Grider. Grinden's third, team third. 36 seconds to go, inbound play works perfectly. As Aiden Muldoon gets that one in. Muldoon now with seven. And Lewis is gonna take his time here. Lewis gets the pick, and they're calling a flop. It's going to be a... F yeah, 
That was going to spark some conversation. And Blackhawks got to take a timeout. Let's take a look here at this one. So Lewis was taking his time. It's a little bit of craziness. So the pick comes up here. He's calling a flop. Yeah, that one's a little controversial. That one's gonna that one's gonna cause some discussion. <laughs> so Blackhawk takes a timeout, just a 30-second timeout. They're gonna try to flip this thing on its head here in the last five seconds. Hayes was a little flustered after that one. It's only a second. They got to go the full length of the court. Wardlow playing tough defense. Gets this one over. Muldoon to, for three. That one goes! Blackhawk hits another huge three-pointer. It's a four-point game. We'll be right back here for the fourth quarter. It's going to be a good one. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. They don't call it Hoosier Hysteria for nothing. Four-point game, Blackhawk making a huge comeback. So now Lewis has it. Lewis with a huge opportunity here. He fakes out Pickett, and he misses out the front of the iron. I think it almost took a spill there. Pickett has it. Three-pointer on the way. Sefton, he drills it! Huge three from there from Sefton. It's still going to stay here. It's a one-point game. Blackhawk has been down as much as 14. Check in now here for Ashton Dressler. Man, oh man. Flair for the dramatics. This Braves team went to overtime. Their only loss of the season against New Haven. It went down to the final second. Pickett gets another block. And now the Braves look to take the lead. This one gets in the corner here. Smith has it, gives it back up. Pickett. Big gets out of here. Zion loses that one. And another costly turnover there. As the pass gets up here, Greider has it. Gets it back out to Lewis. One minute elapsed here in the fourth quarter. This coach Adams calls a play. Three-pointer on the way. Oh, another huge shot there. Greider. Clutch moments all around the night. It's back to a two possession game. Greider, a huge shot there. Pull up jumper on the way. That one no good and a tough rebound there. Greider gives it to Lewis. A minute 30 elapsed. 6.30 to go here. 
Now Lewis is going to take it slowly. Their leader, 20 points per game on the season. He drives in, kicks it out. Ward low. Oh, in and out. A tough break there for a Canterbury crowd that was ready to explode. You saw the gym went silent. The shot did not fall. Pickett has this one down low, kicks it out. Three-pointer on the way. That one, no good. Lewis grabs another board. Lewis sizing him up. He's going to back down. Lewis is going to size up Stefton again. He drives past him before he kicks it over to Grider. Grider drives to the lane and can't get it to fall. Pickett with a tough rebound. The big man earned his paycheck there in the corner. This is a three-pointer. It goes again. Smith has seemed to be in the right place at the right time all night tonight. And he hits another huge three. He has 12. Pickett has 13, Smith with 12, Sefton with 13, Muldoon with 10. That's all the Braves in double figures. Timeout called by Canterbury. We'll step aside, we'll take it with them. We'll be right back here on SummerCitySports.com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for our maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. Come back. One point game. And they have this ball over to Grider. He has 14 on the night. They're led by Lewis once again. He has 24. Turn around here. That one won't go, but a tough rebound there. It's almost poked away. Man, Hayes, what a play there. This one gets up. That one goes. Lewis has 26. And none bigger than that. High drama here on Mark Davidson Court. This one, three-pointer all the way. It's blocked. Huge block. Oh, pull-up jumper. That one misses everything. Oh, that's a huge miss right there. Under four to go. Time slowly ticking away. A three-point game. Looking for the time. Muldoon. Over here, Sefton. Pickett. Pickett comfortable with that one. No good. Another rebound there by Muldoon. He gets it out here. Sefton. Lost it. Almost. And it's a foul called. It's on the Braves. It's on Sefton. That's his fourth. Team first this quarter. Checking in now, Mansfield comes in. Sefton has 13. That's a huge miss. And that's a huge, going to be a huge missing piece for the Braves. They're down three with 3.30 to go here at home. Lewis 
Angela sizing him up. He kicks this one out, Greiner. This one over Dressler, he has 12. Down low, Hayes kicks it out, Lewis, and wow. It's already been a 30 second possession here for the Cavs. They're taking advantage of the, without the shot clock. Lewis drives in, gets it up off the high glass, can't get it to go. Lewis is looking for the foul, it's not coming. Pick it to tie the game, he does it! We're tied! A huge three there from Pickett. The crowd erupts. It is loud in here. This one gets over. Looking for the Siasler. Dressler. Can't get it to go. Pickett the rebound. It's lost again. Another costly turnover. Dressler. And that was missed. Pickett missed it. He got the block and. One fifty-five to go, we're tied, crowd on their feet. Pickett drives it, kicks it over, three-pointer, it's good! <laughs> Hauser gives the Braves the lead back. Now Lewis has it, One forty to go. Lewis to tie the game back up, he misses it. Pickett grabs the rebound. The comeback Braves at it again, they're gonna slow the pace down. Blackhawk has not had the lead since the first quarter. Pickett gets a little push in the back there from Lewis. First foul of the quarter. Will they just start fouling is the question, and I'm not sure. They have four to give. Muldoon can't turn over here and be Blackhawks had a lot of turnovers tonight. A lot of hands on faces here. A anxious crowd. Muldoon kicks it over. That one in and out. Lewis hooks him up, and that'll. Blackhawks number two. Aiden Muldoon. Muldoon fouls him. That's his fourth. Team second. One minute thirty seconds to go. One minute three seconds to go. My apologies. getting into it again. Lewis has it, he's lost it, but it was out of bounds on the Braves. The Cavs have gone cold. Um, gonna meet up here real quick. There's a official disparity. It's gonna be a timeout for the Braves after a little bit of confusion, so. We'll take it with them. 51 seconds to go, three point game, Canterbury with possession. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260s dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Pressure. This is why you love sports, ladies and gentlemen. Moments like this, a three-point game without a minute to go. Who's your hysteria? Bryce Sefton coming in. 
Three fouls to give for the Cavs. They have possession. Lewis grabs the inbound pass. Lewis shooting 35% from beyond the arc this season. Best three-point shooter on the team. This one drives it. Pick it! Oh, he sends that one. That one almost went through the wall. This one gets moved in. Looks like they're going to go for the two here. Get the points. They can't do it. Pickett grabs the rebound. They have three fouls to give. 35 seconds to go. They got to get it across the timeline. Are they going to foul him? They will. Now we're going to play a little bit of a foul game. It's up to the foul shots now, but it's a three-point game. That's Deacon's fourth. Oh, he, yeah, yes, he he's fouled out. And else he got a dead. Oh, he has one more, I think. Cavalier fouls number 10, Deacon Wardlow. That's his fifth. He was signaling to the bench that he had five, and he does. And Gary Jackson for the Braves, wearing 25, Aiden Muldoon. Muldoon comes in. Under 30 seconds to go. They're going to foul him. Or will they? They will. Only one more foul to give. Him. Next foul will send. Going through the Braves. Muldoon is two for four from the line this year. The Braves don't get to the line a lot. That is one thing. Pickett has been to the line quite a bit. He's 17 for 27 of the year. Hauser's two for two, Sefton three for four, and Mansfield one for two on the season. This one gets down low. They're gonna run away with this one. This one back out. Can they close it out here? Sefton has it. They're not gonna try. This one gets out. And there's the fifth foul right there. At the line for the Braves, shooting two, number 30, Luke Mansfield. So Mansfield will go to the line. He's one for two on the season. Gets pushed on the foul. It's a two possession game with 12 seconds to go. Seven points for him tonight. And he makes them both. Timeout, Blackhawk. Full time out, we'll step aside, take it with them. We'll be right back here on SimCitySports.com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait, call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. Welcome back. The uh, apologies, the crowd on their feet is going to interfere with their camera angle here a little bit. Ten seconds to go here. Here comes Lewis. Lewis drives in, gets it up, and gets the roll. So now it's a timeout for Canterbury. That's going to be their last one. Let's do a little recap here. This is going to be the moment everyone's talking about tomorrow. A huge three to take the lead for the first time since the first quarter. And 
And this one to tie the game. Pickett, the leading scorer on this team, is shooting 42% from beyond the arc this season. And none bigger than that one right there. Blackhawk has just been on the comeback trail the entire game. This is another big three here. So they're going to have to guard this inbound pass. They have to guard the inbound pass and make a three-pointer to send to overtime in two seconds. Never say never. <laughs> Carson Watkins, Josh Butts on camera here tonight for you guys, bringing you this exciting early season matchup. This was a highly controversial moment here in the third. Called the foul there, giving a swing. This one gets a picket, gets fouled. So now there's 1.3 seconds to go. They're going to send Pickett to the line. He already has 16 tonight. And now he'll look to ice this one. I believe... I believe that... Canterbury is out of timeout. So if Pickett misses both of these, I think they're going to need a full court prayer to tie this game. Lewis talking to his coach. He misses the first one. It's a technical foul if you call a timeout that you don't have, and he makes the second one. That'll do it. The comeback Braves do it again. Full court shot from Lewis, it won't go. And this game is over. What a night for the comeback Braves. That'll do it here for us tonight. What a game. The Blackhawk Christian Braves come back from a 14 point deficit to beat Canterbury. Our part of Sports Medicine player of the game is gonna go to Pickett. What a night he had again. Another 16-point performance. And making that last free throw and a big three to ice the game. We'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe to all of our social media channels. This has been Carson Watkins. This has been Indiana Boys High School Basketball. Presented by SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City. Home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so uh, I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today.
At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. The athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. In four years, this, this could be you. you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for our maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air where your emergency is our emergency. choose Kelly Chevrolet. We offer a wide selection of new and used inventory with a team that guides you to your perfect fit. Our certified pre-owned options ensure peace of mind with warranties and rigorous inspections. Competitive pricing, flexible financing, and convenient trade and services making your dream Chevrolet a reality. Trust our experienced service team to keep your vehicle in top shape and enjoy free car washes as long as you own your vehicle.